base pyramid? Is it possible to have a pyramid that has a triangular base? Probably couldn't make one, right, if I was, had a lot of spare time. Because <laughs> this shape, if I just looked at where the outermost atoms are, would that describe sort of a pyramid with a triangular base? That's called a tetrahedron. The basic geometrical shape, tetrahedron, is triangular surfaces, here to here to here, that's one triangle. And it has four triangular surfaces. If you ever had a set of dice that only had like four surfaces on it, you had a tetrahedron. I've occasionally seen dice that only had four sides on them. Let's have a regular cube which has six sides. See, so that's tetrahedral. The ammonia is going to be a modification of that, something like so. If I wanted to make water, anybody know how I could make water? Huh? Any ideas? <laughs> water, isn't that H2O? Oxygen normally has two bonds. If this is my oxygen, this is my two bonds. Oxygen usually has. Doesn't it usually have two lone pairs? The water is H2O, and it's something like this. The thing is, when we go to draw these out, I'm going to take that lone pair right there, hydrogen up here. It's going to be a modification of an AB4. B's are only atoms attached, so I'm only going to have one A, but now I'm going to have three B's, and for my lone pair, another name for lone pair is non-bonding pair, so it's an AB3N, which is called a trigonal pyramid. Planar, all four atoms were in the same plane. Hopefully this will show up from anywhere in the classroom. Is this nitrogen, the nitrogen of ammonia, is that above the three hydrogens? Is it pretty obvious this atom here is above the three hydrogens sitting on the desktop? If it were trigonal planar, that atom would have to be way down flat on the desktop. So that's how a trigonal pyramid is different than a trigonal planar. What do you think this angle is right here? If there isn't any additional information that I hadn't told you yet, it'd be 109.5. But it's 107. We'll come back to that. I made water a second ago. Isn't water its shape sort of a modification of AB4 again? By that, I mean it's still got four pairs of electrons around it. So if I have water, I was hoping to be able to fit water right under here and have all the things or modifications of A before in a column, but that's not going to be very visible. I'll just draw it over here. B's would I have for water? Two. How many lone pairs? Two. So AB2, N2. If it were a straight line, it'd be linear, right? So we're really only worried about where my three atoms are. Are they in a straight line? Are they linear? It's bent. All there is the Nick Bet. So AB2N2 is a bent shape. And what do you think the angle is for water? Do I 
would be nice if there were a trend. So 109, 107, what might be next? 105, we round to the nearest whole number, it's 105. Okay, why? I realize we're pretty much out of time, so I try to go through this way. Again, these are balloons. Which balloon is bigger? The balloon that is the lone pair or the balloon that is the bonding pair? The bonding pair. How many believe incorrectly that the bonding pair should be larger? <laughs> it might make sense to you looking at it saying, well, I've got two atoms here. This is only one atom over here, right? But isn't an atom a collection of protons? Either way, it's two electrons in a cloud. Which cloud is going to be pulled in more tightly, the one that's attracted, attracted to two nuclei, or the cloud that's attracted to only one nuclei, the lone pair? These are going to get pulled in more tightly. Bonding pairs are smaller clouds. Non-bonding pairs are larger clouds, simply because there are more protons within a bonding cloud of electrons. So the explanation for that trend Bonding pairs are smaller. <clears throat> or lone pairs are larger. They take up more space because they have fewer protons within that cloud. I'm not quite done. I'm, I'm about 90% done with all of the things that follow the octet rule, but I'll finish up. The octet rule will go with hypervalent when we get to SA today or tomorrow. Um, in this model that you have here, you have the lone pairs um, to, this, to a specific side. Um, would it matter if it was the other way around? I think she's asking sort of an important question. You're asking, like, if you draw a Lewis dot structure? It doesn't matter if you do that, that, No, 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 no. I mean like, like if I did this.